It's been a rough few years for the Desert Rangers. When the world ended, they tried to bring some order to what was left of Arizona. But then, the Cochise AI woke up, and they found themselves in a fight to the death with its robot army. In the end, they had to nuke their own base to kill the damn thing for good. Been hard going ever since. Then, the Rangers heard from a fella calling himself the Patriarch. Said he owned Colorado, but his kids were trying to steal it from him. And if the Rangers were to come and put him in their place, he'd give Arizona all the food and supplies it needed to rebuild and survive. Across a frozen lake. Find it. Copy that. Well, reluctant as the Rangers are to interfere in family squabbles, they weren't really in a position to say no. Our route's around that dam on the far shore. Scouts, check out the ice and lead us across. Yes, ma'am. So the brass sent Ranger Team November across the Rockies. Because the aid he was promising the Rangers wasn't just their best hope. It was their last. Okay, Major. All good. Come ahead. That's the thing about the Rangers. It doesn't matter how hard it gets or how many of them fall. They keep on fighting. The Rangers never stop fighting. talks to leaders, not followers. It would be suicide to try to fight our way into Liberty with the gangs at our back. Take a walk. Liberty only talks to leaders, not followers. Liberty's dug in deep. Hmm. A walk. Liberty only talks to leaders, not followers. Liberty's dug in deep. Hmm. 
Take a walk. Liberty only talks to leaders, not followers. If Liberty had any honor, she'd come out and face us.
Interested in all right. <laughs> Just keep an eye out while you're looking, okay? Work, Rangers. You did it. Payasos, God Fishers, and Scar Collectors all blown to pieces in one big circle jerk shootout. Ha ha ha. Ain't a fool left standing. But now you're actually gonna have to get your hands dirty. Are you kidding me? Liberty still hold up in the compound with the Dorseys playing guard dog. And your job's not done till you have her in custody. Here you go.
the Arizona Rangers. I was wondering what made my shaky little coalition of pawns self-destruct. I guess I should have killed you the first time I met you. Live and learn. And now you're here to demand I go back to my father, who, don't tell me, promised to help you in return. And the sad thing is, he'll actually do it. All because in a world of warlords, he wants his idiot idea of civilization to spread. He wants borders, trading, alliances. The old fool thinks helping you will make you a friend to rely on. When really, it will only make you strong enough to attack him later. Why can't he see the simple truth? That only by ruling everything and everyone can one truly have peace. Only in empire is there stability. Submission for my subjects, peace for me. And you, intentionally or not, have made achieving that peace just a little bit easier. You've got both my brothers locked up in your headquarters. All the eggs I want to crack are in one basket. So... Don't worry, I'm done. Now. Liberty Buchanan? My name is Lucia Wesson, and I call you out for the deaths of my family and the kidnapping of my father. Return him to me without delay. Also, I demand satisfaction from you, gun to gun. That'll have to wait until we're done here. But you can speed the proceedings and the release of your father if you switch sides and fight for me. No, thank you, Miss Buchanan. I know what my father would say to such a proposal. Unfortunately, it's not fit for polite company. Or yours. Then you'll have no one to blame but yourself when he dies, will you? Now, where were we? Oh, right. Whatever ultimatum you're here to give me, I'll save you the trouble and give you one of my own. Go back to Arizona, Rangers, and I'll pretend none of this happened. Stay, and you die alone, far from home. What do you say? Then you're not going home. Kill these fools. House flash! Oh, some bacon flag! Oh, I see the last of those scats, bro.
in it now. <laughs>
don't deserve this. I don't deserve any of this. I don't deserve this. I don't deserve any of this. The Arizona Rangers. I was wondering what made my shaky little coalition of pawns self-destruct. I guess I should have killed you the first time I met you. Live and learn. And now you're here to demand I go back to my father, who, don't tell me, promised to help you in return. And the sad thing is, he'll actually do it. All because in a world of warlords, he wants his idiot idea of civilization to spread. He wants borders, trading, alliances. The old fool thinks helping you will make you a friend to rely on, when really, it will only make you strong enough to attack him later. Why can't he see the simple truth? That only by ruling everything and everyone can one truly have peace. Only in empire is there stability. Submission for my subjects, peace for me. And you, intentionally or not, have made achieving that peace just a little bit easier. You've got both my brothers locked up in your headquarters. All the eggs I want to crack are in one basket. So, thanks. Don't worry, I'm done. Now. Liberty Buchanan? My name is Lucia Wesson, and I call you out for the deaths of my family and the kidnapping of my father. Return him to me without delay. Also, I demand satisfaction from you, gun to gun. 
That'll have to wait until we're done here. But you can speed the proceedings and the release of your father if you switch sides and fight for me. No, thank you, Miss Buchanan. I know what my father would say to such a proposal. Unfortunately, it's not fit for polite company. Or yours. Then you'll have no one to blame but yourself when he dies, will you? Now, where were we? Oh, right. Whatever ultimatum you're here to give me, I'll save you the trouble and give you one of my own. Go back to Arizona, Rangers, and I'll pretend none of this happened. Stay, and you die alone, far from home. What do you say? wouldn't dare. I'd... I'd... Oh, I suppose it's true. The warlords don't like a loser, and they will see this as a defeat. Fine. I can play the penitent daughter until the old man dies. My time will come. Your prisoner. November 1. How did, uh... Well, you know what? Never mind. I'd rather hear this one in person. Transport is inbound to pick up one Liberty Buchanan. Well done, Team November. Over and out. Thank you for the rescue, friends. Forgive me for not looking my best. These savages haven't allowed me a bath or a change of clothes since they kidnapped me. I'm Percival Wesson of the Hundred Families. Daddy? Oh, thank God I found you. I've been praying for this day. Peaches, y you're alive. I can't believe it. I, I was so afraid that... <laughs> oh, but Daddy... Mama and little Percy are... dead. The Dorseys killed them in the Garden of the Gods. I, I couldn't... I couldn't protect... Hush, Lucia, hush. You would have saved them if it was possible to do so. I know that. Aren't you the bravest daughter that ever was? I... I tried to be, Daddy. I went after Nelius Dorsey to get my revenge. The Rangers and I found him and confronted him. You, uh... You talked to Nelius? The Rangers wouldn't kill him. But he shot himself. Mama and Percy are avenged. It's complicated. I... No, no. It's not. I won't lie to you, Lucia. Not when you're all I have left. Neely has told you the truth. Oh, 
Daddy. I I'm sorry, darling. Truly. You see, years ago, the Patriarch asked me to get some men together and disrupt a meeting of the Dorseys, who were agitating to establish elections in Colorado. Saul, he, he didn't feel it was time for that yet. So we showed up in hoods, brandishing clubs, ready to teach them all a lesson. But it only took one Dorsey fighting back, and I started shooting instead of swinging. I, I was just so mad that they'd turn on the man who had saved us all. Well, once one was dead, we had to kill the rest, didn't we? I mean, we, we couldn't let my sins tarnish Saul's reputation. So we hunted him down. <laughs> Until Neelius showed up at our doorstep, I thought we'd got them all. I, uh, not in so many words. Maybe I just thought that's what he wanted. He certainly wasn't displeased when I told him what had happened. He just told me to be damn sure I got all the witnesses. And we, we never spoke of it again. Oh, Daddy. Mama and Percy, you, they, they'd still be alive if you hadn't killed those Dorseys. It all comes back around to you. <laughs> what do I do now, Rangers? What do I do with my father? Let him live or die by the rule of law that he talked so much about when I was growing up. Yes, that seems just. Whatever the judgment is, I will accept it. I deserve any punishment they mete out. Then I will take you to Sheriff Daisy. Let's go home, Father. Goodbye, Rangers, and thank you.
running for the title against the payasos. Who's gonna be? Who cares? We just want to see some carnage. Now, here come the payasos with Herbie, El Insector del Amor. That little fucker is fast and packs a punch. Herbie's popping the sunroof. Holy shit! He's got a rocket launcher. He's... Wait. What the fuck is he aiming at? Oh, shit! solution built and ready for execution. Yield return sensor config. Compiler report. Zero errors. Zero warnings. Running constructors. <laughs> Sensor data stream has produced a viable enhancement model. Device recorded hours of agent activity and constructed final device to maximize efficiency.
Kaye, cowboys. Dead red checking in. Come back secure, you copy? Is Liberty Buchanan handled? Can't say I'm happy to hear it. Might just bite you in the ass later. Might bite all of us in the ass. I hope you're at least ready to help with the second part of the plan. It's time to bring the fight to the Patriarch's Palace. Are you with me? on, November. I know Arizona's problems are desperate, but if Woodson was on the ground here, if he'd seen what we've seen, he'd be telling you what I'm telling you. Ditch this tyrant and help the people. Please, do the right thing. I really thought you'd come around in the end. Fuck. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. You'll never make it in time to save him. We're moving to take the palace now, and he's already locked down the city. By the time you get in, Buchanan will be dead, and we'll be waiting for you. Don't come, cowboys. Go back to AZ. Really don't want to kill any fellow rangers. Dead Red out.
Ah, here at last. Glad to see you. Things have gone to hell around here. Your pal Angie's in Colorado Springs trying to kill Mr. Buchanan, and some of your recruits have turned traitor. They've driven us out of the base. If we're gonna save Saul, we gotta get you and your vehicle downtown. Unfortunately, the main gate to the city is locked up tight. I know another way, but we gotta get to the war room to access it. And these damn traitors are in the way. About half the base. As soon as you radioed in that you were supporting the Patriarch, they revealed themselves to be supporters of that Angela Death Woman and started shooting anyone who wasn't. We were taken off guard and ran out to regroup. We've been out here ever since, waiting on you. But, uh... I'm not sure all your allies are as devoted to the cause as I am. So you might want to see how they're feeling before we go any further. Thank you. The floor is yours. I'm feeling like I want to be done with it all. We've got the Patriarch's kids squared away. Let's deal with Crazy Angie and get to the part where we all go have a drink and reminisce about what great heroes we were. I'm ready for my fucking retirement. Amen, partner. Of course I am! Oh, I, I left all my squeezins inside! I'm coming back in there come hell! Uh, high water! I don't like it at all! If there was a way to convince them that they've made a mistake... But I know there's no time for that. And... And Arizona needs us. The Rangers back home need us. We have to honor our agreement with the Patriarch to save them. As much as I dread this, I'm with you. Right, like I was saying. Angela Death and her crew are trying to overthrow the Patriarch as we speak. And there's no easy way to get your vehicle to her as she's blocked the main gate. Fortunately, I know another way to get the truck downtown, but we'll have to get into the war room to access it. And the traitor rangers are holed up in there with everything locked down. I don't know, all of them? But Connie Zhang was the instigator. Gave a speech about Angie being the true follower of the Ranger Way. And all the Buchanan haters ran to her side. 
been a running battle in there ever since. She is not going to be on foot. By all reports, she rolled into town in an armored-up rover. You try to go against that without some cavalry, and she'll wipe the streets with you. Your call, of course. But if you actually want to win this, if you want to keep the Patriarch alive and your deal with him in place, bring the truck. You'll have to override the lockdown they put in place by accessing the system from the computers in the garage, armory, and brig. So, there's a secret tunnel that leads directly from the base to an elevator under Market Square where Angie's fighting the Patriarch. Sorry I didn't tell you this before. Saul wanted to keep it a secret, in case you turned on him. Once you're in the war room, all you have to do is use the computer to open the tunnel and power up the elevators. Then you'll be able to drive your truck right under Angie's feet and come up behind her. The system is called the Vehicle Evacuation Tunnel. Look for it in the computer's menu. It only gets simple once you're in the war room. Before that, you have to fight your former friends. Engage in the time-honored tradition of trade with me.
down. We gotta buy time for Colonel Death.
a shot. Bring your fighting in here. We got no dog in this fight. Of course. Let's see if we can find what you want. So everyone is killing each other here. And then what? Move on to the city to keep the murder spree going, right? The Rangers are fucking depraved. Of course, no sense in bleeding all over the place. Have a s- It's been a rough few years for the Desert Rangers. When the world ended, they tried to bring some order to what was left of Arizona. But then, the Cochise AI woke up, and they found themselves in a fight to the death with its robot army. In the end, they had to nuke their own base to kill the damn thing for good. Been hard going ever since. Then, the Rangers heard from a fella calling himself the Patriarch. Said he owned Colorado, but his kids were trying to steal it from him. And if the Rangers were to come and put him in their place, he'd give Arizona all the food and supplies it needed to rebuild 
and survive. Whoa, whoa! Sorry, Major. No way we're getting through that. 10 4, Cody. Advance team reported an alternate route across a frozen lake. Find it. Copy that. Well, reluctant as the Rangers are to interfere in family squabbles, they weren't really in a position to say no. Our route's around that dam on the far shore. Scouts, check out the ice and lead us across. Yes, ma'am. So the Brass and Ranger Team November crossed the Rockies. Because the aid he was promising the Rangers wasn't just their best hope. It was their last. Okay, Major. All good. Come ahead. But that's the thing about the Rangers. It doesn't matter how hard it gets, or how many of them fall. They keep on fighting. The Rangers never stop fighting. <laughs>